you all better run on these deals because you only got a short window of time here before one, the coupon's gone, and two, the shelves are wiped. So hurry. Hi everyone and welcome to High Valley Couponers. So let me get you guys situated. Uh, I'm here with more Kroger deals for this week. This sale will run from today, February, is it the 12th through the 18th? I'm not 100% on the dates, I'll have it in the title of course. But uh, yeah, um, it's week two of the 5X Digital. Really there's not, there are some really good deals that have popped up, um, but there's not a ton of them. So this is kind of gonna be a, I don't know, a shorter kind of video, nothing too exciting or thrilling. Oh, two people coming up at once. Hell y'all, it gets harder and harder to do this every single week. This place is always busy. Um, but anyways, so yes, check out last week's video if you haven't already. It was so creepy because I had no one down it and then a car came from this side, a car came from this side and boom, they're like colliding right in. Um, so anyways, check out last week's video because it's the 5X Digital. I did two videos last week showing all the 5X Digital items and some other deals that you could score. I don't go over deals again. If I feel like if I talk about it once, I don't need to keep hashing on it in the next week's video. So as always, I encourage you to go watch last week's videos. And um, gotta move. And make sure to come back for the weekend sale alert video that will be, un er, that will be up tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, let's just dive right into these awesome Kroger deals. And if you didn't already know, there's always a printable breakdown in the description for you guys to use for your reference. So let's just dive right into these awesome deals. Always, always, always check your clearance. Um, I don't need any of this stuff, obviously, but if you did, um, like CoverGirl, they have a lot of CoverGirl like lip products on clearance for a dollar here. And we have, if I can get to it, and trying to reorganize this dumb thing. We have a two dollar off of any one CoverGirl lip product. Your store would have to just mark it down to a, a dollar, the coupon. But you get these for free, so awesome. All right, so the Hershey Kiss cereal is two dollars and fifty cents. Fetch Rewards has a rebate. This ends tomorrow. It's for hundred percent back in points. So you buy two dollars and fifty cents in points, making this free. So the Cheerios Oat and Honey, there's three dollars and seventy nine cents. You'll get back $3.79 in points, making it free. Now, I'd advise do not use any coupons on this because it's just gonna lower the amount you get back. So save your coupons for a like a, a sale, but it's not like this. Just get back 100% of what you paid. So if you use a coupon, they'll give you less back. Please don't come at me if you don't have that same Fetch Rewards deal. I didn't get the one for the Cheerios and that's not really my fault. Um, fetch offers vary by user. I had someone last week who was like, you messed me up so bad because you told us they get the Kotex security pads and theirs was only for the overnight. Well, that's not my fault. Mine was for the, sec the security and I can only see it on my account. So, or what I see on Instagram. So, you know, it's really not my fault if you don't have the same offer. Always check before you buy. So that's all I can say about that. All right, so thank you to JB on YouTube for letting me know this deal is back and I love this deal. So the Royal Rice is $2.69, Ibotta has a $1.50 and Kroger Cash Back put up a brand new $1.50 rebate. So these are a 31 cent money maker each with a limit of five. We have an unreal deal here on the Ragu pasta sauce. They're $1.79 and they're buy one, get one free. Now, if you're in a store like mine where it's actually you have to buy one and then one rank zero, you're going to want to grab four of these. So that's three fifty eight. And then what you're going to want to do is use this dollar off of two coupon that I'll have in the description box below to print. So you'll pay two fifty eight and saving star has 75 cents back. So they're being like a dollar something. They end up being like 53 cents each. Now, if you're in a half price store where they simply bring up half price, you can just buy one. You're still going to grab two for a dollar seventy nine total. Use that handy dandy dollar off a of two printable. It'll be 79 cents and saving star has 75 cents back, making it four cents for two. So it's really important with buy one, get one freeze to know what kind of sales structure your store is. Is it true BOGO where you have to buy two or is it a half price where it just rings up, whatever. So um, you can do that simply by going in the Kroger app, type in Ragu. If it says buy one, get one free, then you have to buy two. If your app just says 90 cents, then you can just buy one. You know what I mean? So just make sure you know that. So if by some miracle you're lucky enough to find this Frisky's the Super Supper 
and you can find enough of these to make this work, you can get an unreal deal here on these. So 15 cents a piece by 32 cans. As you said, most of these, I do have 32 cans. So if your store's got 32, get 32. Use this $3 off of any 32 coupon and you're gonna get 32 cans of this for $1.80, which that's unreal. And not everybody has closeouts, remember. Um, they're also, this coupon on the 32 count variety, that's 24 counts, sorry. Uh, so that's unreal though on this. So go for that one if you have cats and your store's got it. All right, this is like the one of the best deals that I've ever seen on cat food, if not the best. Thank you to Save with Toma for the heads up. These are $4.99 for the Sheba. They're a little bit cheaper at her store, but they're $4.99 at my store. And there's a $4 off digital coupon that you can load to your cart. Makes these 99 cents for 12 of these. You get 12 of these. And look down here, they're 89 cents. So you're getting 12, or no, I guess it's six of these packs, but still that's unreal. So $4.99, you can't beat that for some cat food. Is anybody else's Kroger busy like every single minute of the day? Like it doesn't seem like no matter when I come here, there's like 40,000 people here at all times. It's like, it gets old, but I guess everybody's coming for the deals. There are tons of closeouts at my store. You might be able to take advantage of scrubbing bubble stuff, method, uh, lots of cleaning products. So really, really good deals this week. It's just scoping it out. Yeah, lots of good closeouts if you need these things. Um, we also have like off raid stuff like that on closeout. One out, y'all. This is a 42 pack of Lemmy Shine. It's regularly 11.49. It's on closeout for 2.87. Oh, come on that's that's awesome just go up and down peruse your stores almost every store right now is going to have major clearances and prices will vary per store so it's always worth it to just check and see the prices at your stores but man that's a deal so this is just to show you that clearance does vary around here this dish made dish soap is 209 but on instagram somebody found it for a dollar oh five and there's a dollar digital coupon so check your store because you can get this for five cents if it's a dollar oh five but here it's 209 so check your clearances to make sure but that's odd. that's epic more closeouts that one's kind of lame but you know the record sport is on sale this week two for three we have this one off of one deodorant coupon. So you can do these for 50 cents if you're in need of some right guard. Okay, so the deal on the Nature Valley bars got even better. So they're $1.79 with that 5X digital coupon. Now, the best way to do this deal is to buy five. There is a paper coupon, if I can get to it in this huge pile of coupons to show you. For 50 cents, 50 cents off of any two, Nature Valley granola bars. So since you're buying five, you're gonna wanna use two of the paper coupons and you'll get a Catalina back for $3 when you buy five. So essentially it breaks these down to like 85 cents a box, which is just an unreal kind of deal for these. So awesome. Hey, I'm loving this Annie's mac and cheese deal. So it's another buy one, get one free. So it's important to remember if you're in a true BOGO store or a non-BOGO. If you're in a non-BOGO store, just go ahead and grab three of these. $1.59 divided by two, that's like, why am I drawing a blank? Oh, 80 cents each. So a like 240, use that dollar off of three internet printable, we'll have an description. If you're in a non bogo store, you'll pay a dollar 40 for three of these or like 40 cents a box, which is epic. If you're in a true bogo store like me, you're gonna need to grab six of these. Use that printable coupon for a dollar off three and you will pay 377 for six of these or just 63 cents a box, which is just awesome. There are also tons of closeouts in the deodorant shaving sections. There's like 40,000 people down there, so I can't get, I couldn't film it. So I go just peruse your stores. I even saw some stuff marked for as low as 47 cents. So just peruse your stores and see what you can score. I feel like I say this every week, but this week's actually been the worst time I think I've ever had in here with trying to film or like to not make people uncomfortable. I've had to stock the aisles multiple times to make sure there's no one in there. And then whenever I start filming, somebody comes right down and grabs something um, and that's the store. But you know, I've got the complaint many a times. You just go too fast. You need to go slower. Well, it's like seriously not even possible at this point. Um, and like I said, I keep this on the down low. Now the, the workers have seen me many times, but they don't really seem to care. So, but I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. So I try to make sure that I do film when no one's there, but feels impossible today. So if I seem rushed, there's why. 
Right, so the Heredes salsa is 89 cents. We have a 55 cent off internet printable coupon I'll have in the description. See these cans of salsa for 34 cents, which is awesome. All right, y'all, let me get my camera situated. So, uh, yeah, you saw that. Busted by employees. And I was. I am so upset, but in a way, I'm a little glad it happened because I got some answers. So basically, here's what happened. I was doing the um, mac and cheese, the rice, and then the um, Hereta salsa. That's all in the same section in Kroger. So I had, there was somebody down there stocking shelves. Like I said, that store is so busy. Somebody there stocking shelves. And so I just filmed. She wasn't close. Didn't get her in it. And that's fine. So I did the mac and cheese and the um, rice. And then I moved over to the salsa. I was looking for the salsa. Well, I noticed she left. So I thought, oh, okay, well, then I'll film since she's gone. So I filmed. And I look back after filming and there is who I thought was the manager, but isn't per my conversation um, with Kroger. And also the, um, the stalker came right back. The stalker stayed on the edge of my cart, but the, I don't know who he is. He's going to have a name tag on, came right up next to me, grabbed my cart by my binder, all that. And said, what are you doing, bud? So that's what he said. What are you doing, bud? And I was like, nothing and he said what are you doing and I'm like I'm, I'm just getting some deals because I, I was like I was and I thought at the time you know what let's tell him about the YouTube but you know what? I'm so glad I didn't so my face is beat red because I'm just like so upset right now because this was awful and embarrassing and caused me to not be able to finish filming in there because I was so nervous so anyways he said what are you doing and I told him I'm just getting some deals he said, well, do you need help with something and I'm like no I'm fine and then he walked away and I saw he went up and talked to another supervisor. And I was like, so shook at that point. I thought he was a manager. He's in dress clothes. He looks like a manager, but he didn't have a tag. So I was a little annoyed. So I just like left. It was like, I'm done. I'm done. I bought my stuff and left. I was like, I got two more deals to do and I'll film them at home because I'm just not going to sit in here and take this. So I'm... My mom actually decided because I at this point, to tell you the truth, I was so heated. I was like, I'm done done at Kroger. Um, I'm still not really feeling comfortable going back in there and filming. I'm really not. She was like, we need to call them and get some answers. So she called and asked to speak to the manager, the manager. And we talked to the manager of the store and told him what happened. And he said, that guy is not a manager. He said, I'm the only manager in here today. That is not the manager who talked to you. And that really has me heated. Why the heck would that stalker go and get some random guy who works there no more powerful than her to come and talk to me, number one? Number two, why did she care? She wasn't in the video. I'm not videoing people. I'm videoing a shelf. And it's just the way he did it was ridiculous. You do not get up in someone's face. It's ridiculous. So anyways, we finally asked the manager, can we film in your store? I've never had this conversation with them, but I decided to today. I was like, can we film deals in your store? He was like, yes, we encourage people to take pictures and, and spread the news around Kroger around. He said, yes, we absolutely encourage that. So apparently what I'm doing is respected by the manager of Kroger, but whoever that stalker who was mad for some reason and whoever the heck she pulled, I don't even know who it is. They were furious that I was filming in there today. For the stalker to quit what she was doing and go and find somebody because they thought I was a threat or whatever. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So for the first time, he said, if you ever have a problem like that again, go to the service desk. Don't mess with those people because he said it's fine. So I have it's okay. But truth be told, I really don't feel comfortable going back in there right now because now I feel like if that stalker is there, she's going to be watching me. And instead of, you know what, be a good and like have some like, I don't even know, like handle your problems yourself. Go and ask. She could have said, do you need help with something? No, you go and just bring some guy who you thought was going to intimidate me. And you know what? He was successful in that. He did intimidate me because I left. I didn't finish filming. So I'm just really frustrated right now. You know, I know you guys really love these Wednesday videos, um, and but now I really do feel uncomfortable. But it is kind of nice to know he had. I do have the approval from the manager now officially, 
So whatever, but I've done this for two and a half years and have never had a problem. So today, the fact that they decided to get somebody and I'm really frustrated. I don't know who he is. He acts like a manager. He's all dressed up. He's all formal and you don't have your name tag on, which that's stupid, but he acts like he's so formal, but he's not a manager and he acted like he was. I wish I would have been brave enough to speak up more and, and, and say what I really wanted to say, but I just didn't. I was so taken aback because I was about to move on. I was almost done. So now I'm going to show you guys the last two deals that I didn't get from the store. <sighs> yeah busted by the employees but I'm glad to have that manager's approval I'm so happy that I finally have the answer from the managers that this is okay and they want me to do this he says I we want people to do this because they want business he said that he, we asked him twice he said absolutely fine you can film in the store so I'm gonna you know I always thought they were fine with it because the older manager, who I don't think is there anymore, he stood right next to me sometimes as I was doing it. He didn't say a word. He didn't care. As long as they're not getting the customers, who cares? I've drawn so many local people to your store. The numbers at the Zanesville store have increased because of how many... I'm not bragging on myself. But I can barely go into Kroger without running into a subscriber because I've drawn so many people to this store. So, I mean... I do nothing but bring them good business, so I don't understand it. But that's what happened. That's why I give you guys the heads up. And if I'm, I don't know, I'm going to be kind of guarded now. But hopefully, it's all good from here. And I never get humiliated in public like that again. So let's talk about the last two deals. All right, so the Airhead Bars. Thank you again to Sabotoma. These are 60 cents. So remember the 800 shop takes rebate. Or not 800, I'm sorry. It's 200, which is 80 cents. So it's going to be a 20 cent moneymaker. So the Love Good Fats bar is $2.49. There is an Ibotta for $2.29, making it $0.20. Cents. So, sorry for the depressing video. I'm just disappointed, guys, because I, I love doing these videos, and I'm just, feels like it's the end. So, yeah, that's all that I have, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for the weekend set tomorrow, and thank you for watching.